Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another Software Inc. tutorial. And this time I'm here to tell you how to do research. Yeah, that's right, how you do research for um, networking, for system, for audio, 3D, 2D, uh, whatever you want. So it's a pretty simple approach. The only major issue you might have here is that you need quite a few people on the project so you can do that quickly and um, you don't waste too much time but also you don't have like too big a team to that take you too long to, to do that but how do you do that um, you have this option here so the research so you open that and this gives you this screen so you have all these options here that you can research. So system, 2D, 3D, audio, and network. As you can see, I've done some research in uh, system. I think I did some in uh, network as well. Audio, I don't think I did any in uh, that. 3D, I did one here. 2D as well. So it's possible. And as you can see, your patents will expire after 10 years, which is fine. You can get a lot of money before that happens. And but how, how do you actually do this? So when you select the option you want, let's say we want to research system. We select system and we have this information here. Uh, to research system for the current year, we need, this is the minimum that you need. 13 level 3 system designers and uh, you get a potential royalty of 5%. So if we take a look at our team, I have a research team here. I took everyone from my company and put on that team. Uh, I think some were still missing on other departments, but that's all right. And I'm pretty sure that I have enough people to do system in here. So 110 people doing <laughs> programming and designing uh, in three level, three stars. So I have more than 13 level three. So just make sure again that when looking here, it's asking, let's move screen so you can see both. What's required? 13 level three system designer. So this number is the number of people you, you have with that skill. So I currently have 53 level three system designer, level three, three stars. 53 is the number, is the amount of people I have with that skill in that thing. So I do have that. So knowing that, what I can do is just press this button and ask me which thing I want to use to actually do that. So I'll select my research team, obviously, because these are the ones that know what they're doing and press OK. So doing that, I'll have one option in here telling me that I now can do research and the research team is working on that. So we just have to wait and they'll come into work. I like to always uh, increase priority so they, they work faster and we don't have any issues. I have some people working different shifts in here as well. So I clean everything that I had just to show you uh, how this works. So we're starting the day and you see that there is a lot of people just coming <laughs> to work and there they are. Uh, let's just accept. I don't even know what they're complaining about. And you can see that the bar here, it's starting to move and this will go like this for some uh for a couple of months maybe a little bit more and we will be back when we get at the end of the researching here so i see you there okay we are back and i made the rookie mistake here to uh, actually not assign the rooms to the team, so I had to restart the researching, so that's that's right, I guess. Uh, but we now finish researching, and that's how it looks. So when you finish 
this, it will ask us if we want to file a patent. And yes, we want to do that. So let's change this to our team of lawyers that will work on this. And let's raise priority in there. And that's all we need to do, actually. So they work on the patents. They will file that. And as soon as they finish, we'll have that. So I'll be back as soon as they, they finish doing this, which could take, I think, about two or three months to do that. I'll see you in a bit. And as we keep working on the patents, another tip that I have for you is that as soon as the year changes, you will start doing uh, another research because we can now file for the, the new year. So I'll do that straight away and select our research team. There you go. And they will start working on that as well. So while they work on the research, we are applying for the patent for the one on the previous year. So we should be all right. And I'll be back as soon as they, they get there. And here we go. They should arrive now and finish that patent. And then we press the red button and that's it. We have that patent now. And we are almost finished researching the, the next one as well. So that's all we have to do. And if we take a look at the research panel, look at system, you see that the 2063 uh, patent is owned by our company. We have no income from that yet because no one started using it yet. So it takes like one usually one year for them to start using it and uh, start getting revenue on that uh, on that um, technology. So which is all right, like it's it is what it takes and but you start getting money from that eventually. And as you finish the other one, you do the same thing, finish file for patents, assign the correct team for that. Where's that? There you go. And uh, that's all you have to do to do your research. And as I mentioned, finish that one. We can do another one on system. So I'd strongly advise taking a look on what your team can do and do a research on the same year on uh, that uh, other uh, area, maybe network or audio, depending on what your team do. And uh, that, that's all. Obviously, remember that if it requires 13, if I have, for example, something like, let me take a look at the team. I have 52 people here, so it's a lot more than uh, necessary in that one. Uh, this just means that we will finish a lot faster. So the more people you have with that, those skills, the better. So if we take a look at here on development and design, you see that they only have skills for systems. So I can do uh, network audio or 3D, for example, So which is all right. Uh, but in any case, this is how you research um, on Software Inc. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something from it today. And let me know in the comments if there is anything else that you want to learn. And I'll make sure that I'll do a quick tutorial for you. Thanks again and have a good one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.